I've got a lot to clean today. been a long time since I've done a cleaning video. I'm going to take you around and um, let you see I'm in the bathroom and even the bathroom is a wreck. Uh, but every single room, maybe not every single one, but the main living space in our house is truly just trashed. There's so much going on during this time of year. I have, I have a cold and um, cold allergies, not sure. Uh, we get farmers that have fields all around us and they've been plowing up the fields, so all the dust is coming our way and I'm getting plugged, so it's probably a lot of allergies. But, uh, yeah, I have a lot of cleaning today. It's canning season still for me. I'm still canning. Um, still baking, still all of that stuff that goes with this time of year. I just want to show you, when I do all of that stuff, I focus on all of that. I let everything else go because really, in all honesty, it doesn't take me long to just take a day and just whip through. And I would rather do that than have to make sure everything is perfect and, you know, for me to be able to do my canning and everything because it's not just me living here. Um, it's my husband, not that he's a messy person, but he lives here and this house is lived in. We have two granddaughters that we keep often, so they're here and they play and I'm just, I'm busy. I keep busy. So let me just show you the house. Okay, so as I said, this is the bathroom, um, laundry area. These are all clean and that's just some of the blankets. I've washed quite a few. There's some probably underneath of that. Uh, our, like I said, farmers are around here, so the fields have been blowing in dirt. We cleaned our porch. That was some of the blankets on our porch that um, got dirty from the dirt, uh, just the flying dirt in the air, and it just completely saturated our porch. This is just stuff that's been folded or needs to be folded, laundry, I pretty much keep up laundry, but I might throw a load in. Uh, this is stuff that actually needs to go to the dry cleaners. Um, the rest of the bathroom, if you want to see, pretty much stays picked up. I do need to clean that mirror. I see a couple water spots on there, but pretty much I keep this area pretty well cleaned up because it's kind of a daily thing. After we're finished in here, I just take a cloth and just go through and clean all of that area. Over here, you will notice something new. Nice cabinet from a friend. And um, I haven't finished filling it. I do have a few things in here. If you're new to my channel, I used to have a vanity desk here that, um, like a makeup area desk with a mirror. And I was never happy with it. It became a catch-all. Not, not that this isn't. Uh, so I, I'm thinking that this is going to be a good blanket chest. I know, crazy, because I mean, maybe it's not in its intended use, but it's going to work for one for me. So I do need to work at that at some point. I don't know if I'll get to that today. Uh, this is our bedroom. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's been messier. It's not made. More blankets that have been washed. Of course, didn't have room in the laundry, so threw them over here. Um, some clothes. A uh, nightstand that needs to be cleaned off, and that area down there needs to be cleaned. I don't know if you can see my husband's nightstand over there. That needs to be clean and organized. Just stuff. Stuff. 
you know, stuff that you don't pay attention to because you're too busy with everything else. Let's move into the living room. This is, this is where it gets good. Yes, I mentioned that we have granddaughters that come over and uh, we have a keyboard and they were playing with that. It just did not get put away. We have what we call a tickle trunk. If you're familiar with Mr. Dress Up, and yes, I'm probably showing my age, uh, he always had a tickle trunk and that was something that I always said that I would have. My mom had one for um, grandkids and um, now we have one here. So that needs to be cleaned up and put away. We have quilts that are out. Um, just things out a little bit everywhere. I'm sorry, I'm shadowing here. This is a toy section in behind sofa. The girls have been playing with the dollhouse and some of these things have been taken out and not really put back where they belong. Baby dolls. <laughs> More dress-up things. Just um, a lot of stuff. In the kitchen, the window's gonna probably drown out a lot of that. Cook stove. Let's go right around the room. You can see over here, this is where I came from. This is our bedroom. This chair here has a pile of books. I, they have been moved to three or four different places, so I need to go through those and put them in a home. Um, again, the wood cook stove. I'm going to tell you a story about this cook stove. You can see no pipe hooked up to that. We've not been using it for probably about a month, I'm going to say. We've sealed off that pipe because this one is going to find a new home. We have purchased a new one. So look for that in an upcoming video, and I'll explain more then. We look over here, and like I said, I'm doing canning. Um, those I did yesterday, so I need to get those put away. It hasn't been exactly 24 hours that they've been sitting there. That's salsa. And you can see dishes, dishes, dishes. And an island that just doesn't seem to want to stay decluttered. And muffins I made fresh this morning. They're still cooling. Hmm. You wait till you see this room. Let me show you this room. This is our pantry. Look at this room. I've cleaned this room and cleaned this room, but it just seems to become a catch-all this season. You know, during during the fall harvest season, it's, it's just, I've got so much going on. I've got a lot of cooking that I've been doing. I've got stuff in the dehydrator that just finished. I've got to get that out and put it into containers. I have stuff that we bought at the Amish store. I need to get put away. Um, taking the time to do all of this. Yeah, I just haven't taken the time to do it all. There you have it. And no, my house was not broken into and trashed. It looks like it though. I didn't even get to the entryway. I should show you the entryway. Or maybe I'll clean a little bit first and then get to the entryway. Feeling a bit overwhelmed here. My husband said that he uh, would help at some point. That probably won't be until his day ends. So, let's just dive in. never buy laundry soap I always make my own and I do have a video so I'll link that above and for fabric softener that's not actually fabric softener that is white vinegar 
I love using white vinegar. I love especially how it makes my towels so soft and fluffy. And it takes odor out of clothes as well. And in the laundry soap, there's a little bit of baking soda in there. So that also helps with any odor or any clothes that you might have. Or if you're washing shoes, because sometimes I will throw sneakers in there or we have farm animals. So my shoes are always getting kind of mucky. So I'll throw those in the, the laundry and the vinegar and the baking soda. They both help with any odor. Okay, I need to talk to you about this chair. I always keep a blanket on it because you can see the condition of the chair. It wasn't always like this. But our boxer, Holly, who if you've been following for a while, you know that we no longer have her. She passed away last year and she would oftentimes climb up in this chair despite our many efforts to keep her out of this chair. And she would, um, it's very thin, the fabric in here, it's very thin. We bought this at an estate sale. The bones are really good, it's so sturdy. Um, it's a really nice, heavy, heavy chair. The fabric was so thin, her little toenails would just puncture through it. And so, I do need to do something with this chair. I haven't done anything with it yet. I would like to get it reupholstered or try my hand at reupholstering it myself, but honestly, I have so many different things going on. I don't know when I'd ever get to that. So I got to figure out something. I don't know. Maybe nothing will cover it today. I'm not sure, but just wanted to show that to you. I need to change the bedding. It's not spring, obviously. <laughs> this is how long it's been since I've really paid a lot of attention to doing anything. But like I said, spring and summer, it's huge here at my house. I mean, it is my busy season and, you know, going right into fall, well into fall. So I've not changed any, anything. It's still spring colors. Uh, so I do need to do that, but it won't be today. It'll be another video. Uh, so right now I just threw the covers up best I could. Uh, that blanket is from the porch, another one that I've washed. This quilt we do throw on our bed at night because it does get chilly right now. It's going down into the um, 20s and not that we keep our house that cold, but we haven't turned the heat on yet. So I may put that quilt over here to cover the chair. I don't know, but uh, I do know one thing for right now. I'm going to call this room done. I mean, obviously I'm going to take care of these things, but other than that, this room is done. So let's move on to the next room. You probably want to see my face on here and not just everything I'm showing you. Um, I said I'm done in here. Not quite. I do need to dust and I do need to vacuum. Va vacuuming will be the very last thing and scrubbing my floor will be the last thing. I don't know if I'm going to get to the scrubbing or the vacuuming, honestly. I'm not sure yet. I don't know what my day entails. Um, I still have a lot of other things to do. I just, I, I'm flying by the seat of my pants here today, to be totally honest with you. And this has been pretty much every day for a while. My husband is working from home now. But that has really thrown me into a tailspin. My schedule is so, so different because he's right there in the dining room. Um, so it just, it throws me off a lot. Um, he's on the phone or on conferences or on the computer or something and um, I try to be quiet um, and kind of stay in my own side and and do things that don't require noise or anything so running a vacuum has been not priority and um, 
different things like that. So, um, yeah, anyway, what I'm going to do, I think, is just go through and pick up each room. Just get it presentable for right now and then go from there. Sometimes that is all you can do and that's okay. That's okay. I mean, take a 10 minute tidy and just do each room. 10 minutes tidy up, go to the next room, 10 minutes tidy up. I mean, if we do that every day, it, we can pretty much stay on top of things. I haven't and that's okay with me because it really doesn't take me long to get on top of things. Um, although if you saw my kitchen floor, you would think otherwise. So let's move into the living room and just do a tidy in there and get it a little more presentable anyway. You can probably notice that my mantle is still decorated for spring and summer. That's how long it's been since I have changed anything up. Usually I am so on top of things, but this year I canned way more than I normally do. And it was our first year in a couple of years that we actually grew a garden. We did raised beds. I have a video of that if you'd like to see it, I can link it above. And so my time was very much spent outside doing a lot of things with the garden and, you know, doing canning and freezing, dehydrating. We had a lot more herbs this year to do. And so I did not do a whole lot in the way of decorating. Last year, I skipped out on Christmas because of a broken ankle. This year, I've skipped out on fall because of canning. <laughs> so this is getting to be a pattern, I think. This year, I am going to decorate for Christmas. I'm actually in the process of creating some Christmas videos for you. So look for those. They'll be coming out fairly soon. accumulate kid stuff but I don't know how you not do that really honestly so like I said I'm going to take that upstairs um, I haven't put the TV back in its little cubby uh, need to dust so I'll leave that out um, I'll probably put this in the keyboard set it in the entryway, not bring it upstairs quite yet because I'm sure there's going to be other things that are going to be um, needing to be brought upstairs. Right now I think I'm going to start in the kitchen and just tidy up there and um, try to group things into as I need to do them. Um, so let's just move over into the kitchen.
My husband has become quite spoiled while he's been at home for the last few months because I make him fresh homemade muffins weekly and usually fresh homemade bread. And he's lost weight. <laughs> I don't know how. How do guys do it? I've gained. He's lost. That's crazy. I need to get on the bandwagon and get back to where I was again. This is terrible. But yeah, my husband is very spoiled. But again, I absolutely love having him at home. shaking this onto the floor because like I said vacuuming will be the last thing I need to do so it's all going to be vacuumed up I'm not worried about that so let's keep going <laughs> ever find yourself cleaning one area or doing one certain chore and then that one chore leads to something completely different that happens to me all the time and like now cleaning the counters off and then I see something that we picked up at the store I need to put it away that leads to completely rearranging a cabinet <laughs> so I I did these cabinets not too long ago. I can link the video above that uh, showed me cleaning them out and organizing them. And that organization works so well. I, I love the way that I did it because, like I said, it, it really works well. So right now, I'm just cleaning through, 
trying to find room for um, some extra bottles of uh, cooking wine and cooking sherry that we had picked up. So yeah, you you start one thing, it leads to another, and at least I'm still in the same room because oftentimes I've done this and I've ended up in a completely different room doing a completely different thing and completely forgot what I was doing in the first place. Has that ever happened to you? you've probably heard me say this before in previous videos, but I absolutely love doing dishes. Although I don't like doing them this time of day because the sun is shining so brightly through that window, it is so hard for me to see. That's why I put on the baseball cap because it gives me a visor to be able to see what I'm doing. This is the south facing window and we get so much wonderful sunlight coming in here, but it just makes it really difficult when you're doing dishes or any task at the sink really. If you're new, we do not have a dishwasher. When we built this house, um, I chose not to have a dishwasher put in. I like doing dishes by hand. I have always done dishes by hand. Uh, we have had dishwashers in the past. I just never used them. I, I'm really, I grew up doing dishes by hand. It's something that I enjoy, so I continue doing it. Do you have a dishwasher in your home or are you one of those that do them by hand as well? Just leave me a comment below and let me know which category you fall into.
can't let you in this room. This room loads a video for a whole other day. to move on to the refrigerator cleaning the outside of that and I just want to show you can you see those precious little hands little prints I don't know if the camera shows them up or not we have a little girl who likes to get into the freezer and get chocolate chips <laughs> so we have some little hand prints on here we would made chocolate chip cookies and uh, she really likes the chocolate chips. doing a lot of dehydrating. These are some pears and apples that I'm doing just merely for decoration. I love to decorate with dried fruits, you know, like on a tree or anything like that. Um, I've also been doing some herbs and some vegetables. I like to do different vegetables. We've done a lot of cabbage this year, which is great in soups. We use, um, we use it in different um, soups, stews. Um, you can use it in casseroles. You just need to, to rehydrate it. It rehydrates fairly easy. Um, you just put it in some water and you let it rehydrate. It takes a few minutes, 10-15 minutes. Once it does, you can use it just like you would use regular cabbage or you know any other vegetable that you want to use. We like to dehydrate carrots, celery, peppers, onions, garlic, any of those vegetables that you would have in your refrigerator that are getting to the point where they're not quite that fresh anymore and you really need to use them up, I usually go through my refrigerator when I'm cleaning it, take out all of those vegetables, I chop them up, get them ready, throw them into the dehydrator, and I put them in jars to use later on in soups, stews, dips. Um, you can use them in vegetable dips. They're really great. I even do cucumbers because that's really good in um, like a vegetable, like a ranch type dip you can make yourself. There's so many things that you can dehydrate on your own and really make things soup mixes. They make great soup mixes. Um, it's a way of putting everything all together with your, um, you know, all in one jar and your soup is ready to go. You've got your cabbage, you've got your carrots, you've got your celery, you've got your peas, whatever you want to put in there. Um, throw in some lentils. Um, it's really great. Some barley, whatever. But I'm telling you, this is such a great way to create a really convenient meal and uh, a really nice grab and go. And I like those kind of meals. I want to mention while I'm thinking of it, my husband and I decided to make a change this year. We decided to get rid of paper towels. We are no longer buying paper towels. And I mean, it was the perfect year to do it, right? We decided to go more natural and we buy, I bought, I don't know, they're cotton cloths. I can link them below in my channel box. I can't remember the name of them right offhand, but I love them. We love them so much better. I don't know why we did not do this sooner. They're so much easier to use and we've reduced waste. 
Uh, we don't have so many of them. I mean, you use them, you throw them away. And we used to stretch them as much as we could by cutting the half in half. I mean, we didn't use that much to begin with between the two of us, but we used enough. And I hated that we were just throwing them away. It's just creating more garbage. So we did decide to go natural. The ones that we chose, I have, I keep them in the drawer with my dish towels, dish cloths. It works perfectly. They wash extremely well. They haven't shrunk. It's just been a really great decision. So I urge you to look them up. Try to do this. This is this was, I thought, going to be a challenge, but it really wasn't as much of a challenge as I thought it was going to be. I'm just really glad we did it. We still have a lot of tomatoes. The bags that you see on the counter, they have some tomatoes in them. We're trying to um, get those to turn red. I have several on our dining room table that um, are we're waiting to, for them to turn red as well. And you can also see on the counter, I have some seeds that we're drying out. There's some squash seeds. We have pumpkin seeds. On the windowsill, we have uh, yellow beans that um, we're drying out for the um, seeds. I don't know if there's going to be a seed shortage next year. I don't know. I know that this year has been, it's it's been a tough year for a lot of reasons. Tough year to find seeds, a tough year to um, find what you want for seeds. They went really quickly. Um, there's a lot of things in the grocery store that have been difficult to find or you know there's even been you know this was a dry year so there's a lot of things that they're just the harvest wasn't that well and you know when you do see them in the store they've upped the price on it because of the harvest so you know things like this I want to be prepared for this next year um, as prepared as we can be anyway so we are seed saving for that reason. I didn't get very far. I had a lot of interruptions. The day just didn't go as planned. So this is our bedroom. It still is exactly the way I last showed it to you. The nightstands did not get done. Uh, that stuff didn't get put away. I still have, I still have laundry. Oh my word. You know, when life happens, it, it happens. So let's go back in here into this living room. I've cleaned this room twice actually because the girls were just here and they just left. It's getting late. I've had to turn all the lights on in here because uh, it gets so dark so early here. Um, let me rearrange these pillows here. This room is as done as it's going to be and I did put the TV back in its cabinet. I've not dusted. I just don't have the time. Um, everything is picked up though. Everything looks much more picked up than it was and that is the goal. So that's a bonus for me today. If you look on this side of the room, I still have that pile of books that I need to go through. I still have my canner out, but I am going to use it again. Uh, these are my jars of salsa that still need to go downstairs. It's been about 24 hours, so I can take those down at some point. I will. I'll have my husband help me do that. And the kitchen. Well, 
I mean, dishes are done. Except for I do have I do have some new ones in the sink that have been dirtied. But lunch happened, kids happened, and this happened. I feel like the more I go round and round and round and round, the more I go around. Um, the girls picked up some apples at um, our school farm. So I do have some nice apples that I've got to turn into applesauce or throw in the freezer or something. Anyway, there's a few things here on the counter that need to be taken um, and put into their homes. This is a bag of I don't know what that's a bag of, actually. Oh, a bag of lids, jar lids. I need to put that down in the basement with the jars. Um, these are seeds for next year. I need to take care of those as well. And that's a strawberry box. That'll go downstairs with the rest of those. Um, and this is all neatly cleaned up. Haven't seen it this clean in a very long time. Um, you saw my pantry, I did show you that. That's done for the most part. I mean, as done as I can get it because I still have stuff going in the um, dehydrator. I still need to vacuum the floors. They look nice on camera, but trust me, they are not. Can you see? Underneath of those cabinets, there's all kinds of little bits and bobs under there. So that all needs to be vacuumed. And honestly, I'll probably do that quickly, but it won't get put on video. Um, my entryway still needs to be cleaned. Let's go look at that. And as you can see in the entryway, there are a few things that need to be put in their perspective places. This roaster goes downstairs on our shelving. I roasted a chicken for our son and daughter-in-law. So I've got to put that back. Um, the stairway, our stairway. This has been home to extra jars and lids because I'm moving from here to the kitchen all the time, boxes and uh, jars. And then you can see over here, there are more jars. Uh, the ones in the stairs are the used ones. These are new jars. Um, I still have tomatoes to do. I still have more salsa to do. So I need to get working on that as my tomatoes ripen. This, this is a thing that my, a lift, a, I don't know what you want to call it. It's what my foot rested on after my ankle surgery. So I, I've got to do something with that. Um, let's see, there's some gloves, some shoes, a lot of vacuuming that needs to be done. Our cooler that goes into our vehicle because I unloaded groceries and as you know if you've been following me for a while I always keep a cooler in the back of my vehicle to transport cold groceries so we're about 30 miles from uh, the um, Walmart so when I do grocery pickup I usually put the cold items in there uh, boxes lots of boxes that need to be brought down into the basement and a shelving system that my mom had given us uh, we need to find a place for some more black landscape fabric uh, that we're going to be doing more raised beds so that'll um, be for that so we'll put that in its home uh, just a few things here really it's just stuff that needs to be put away and a little bit of uh, vacuuming well it's 4 30 my husband is on a call so I came in here I feel like I've disappointed you because I really didn't get, I mean I got a lot done but I didn't get a lot done, I feel like. I feel like my day was just very broken up and interrupted and when I clean I like to just, I like it to be a flowing thing. I like to just go from one thing to the next, not thinking, but like I said before, my whole life has changed since my husband has been home working. Um, I can't just fr freely move about the house anymore and it limits me quite a bit so uh, still working on that still trying to figure out ways to um, make it work um, I love having him home I will say that I love having him home so um, 
uh, still have the entryway to clean. Uh, my closet, oh my gosh, my closet, it's bad. It's, it's really bad. Uh, the porch, I usually transform that over from summer to fall. I've already taken everything off the porch for summer. Um, that's been put away. My husband and I worked on that um, a couple of uh, Sundays ago. It was a horrible mess. I'm going to insert pictures and show you actually how bad it was. I did take a couple pictures. I didn't video it. Neither one of us were really feeling that great that day. Um, tractors were out in the field. There's a lot of dust. So much dust you couldn't even see the tractors. It was just like a sandstorm or something. It was just a wall of dust and dirt and it just completely coated our porch. It looked horrible and it just covered everything and we just we had to take that's why all the blankets uh, we had to strip the beds we had to uh, take all the toys off we washed the walls we washed the screens we washed the floor we washed windows we washed the beds we washed all the furniture out there uh, we just scrubbed everything we were out there for hours that day and uh, like I said I did not um, video anything um, I did get a few clips of my husband I don't know if I got video or just pictures, but I'm going to insert them so you can see them anyway. I mean, it was it was crazy, crazy dirty. I wish I would have gotten it. It would have made great video, but I did not. Um, I still have not decorated for fall. Uh, whether or not I'll get to that, I don't know. It just depends on how quickly I can get stuff done. I'm working on a couple things behind the scenes that I have not told you guys about. So that is taking up a lot of my time, and I apologize for that. I will let you in on that um, when the time is right. Um, this is it. <laughs> this is everything, and like I said, I'm sorry it wasn't more. I uh, hope you weren't disappointed, but I'm really glad to be back. I'm really glad to be back, and um, if you're new, please subscribe below and leave me a thumbs up. And for all of you faithful subscribers who come back time and time again, thank you so much. Your support is greatly appreciated. And until next time.